I love beer. I love gardens. Hey, I love beer gardens. This is Living Local, Traveling Global with Kelly Farrow. Featuring United States Tour Operators Association member Avanti Destination in Saxony, Germany. Enjoying the local food is definitely one of my favorite things to do when I travel. Danke. And I surely was not disappointed with all the foods to try in Saxony. Talking with my mouth full. Sweet and savory, gourmet and casual, Big and small, the classic cuisine of this part of Germany is all equally delightful. And on my independent tour with Avanti Destinations, a USTOA member, I was able to have a downright smorgasbord every single day. I feel like you have to start with the iconic beer garden. These indoor-outdoor restaurants are always so inviting, and Saxony had many located in some of the most picturesque spots. Here you can find the cuisine is casual, focusing on warm-from-the-oven pretzels and caveman-sized meats and equally large beer. Thank you. Great. I tried the pork knuckle, and wow, was I overwhelmed with this crisp, slow-roasted meat. Don't plan on eating the rest of the day if you have one. Of course, the locally-made Saxon beer is legendary, but being more of a wine drinker myself, I was really impressed to find such a great wine culture in Saxony. Most of these wines are made by small producers, like this one, the Wackerbath Castle. They've been producing wines for over 850 years, being the oldest facility to make sparkling wine in the area. And it had patrons like Saxony's illustrious August the Strong. Germany is well known for its Riesling, and a tasting here proved to me just why it's so special. One in particular, the Gold Riesling, is actually a variety that comes from Saxony, so this is as local as it gets. I picture drinking this outside on a warm summer day, or any day at all, really. Cheers. Cheers. One of my favorite meals in Saxony was at St. Jonathan Restaurant in Gorlitz. It was there that I realized that all Saxon food isn't just meat and potatoes. They offered incredible salads, mouth-watering starters, and a really delicious local river fish. The food in Saxony is delicious, but you can't come here and not try the sausage. The Germans know how to make a good sausage. One currywurst, please. This looks delicious. One of Leipzig's most storied restaurants is located underground, and it's still quite popular today. This is one of the oldest restaurants here in Leipzig. It's been around since the 1500s, and many of Leipzig's greats, like Bach, Goethe, Schumann, they all came here and ate and drank, and that's what we're doing here today. Enjoying some Wiener Schnitzel, this food looks and smells amazing. We're at the Vicenz Richter restaurant right in the heart of Meissen. This restaurant's been in the same family for five generations, and the building here is actually from 1523. It's a member of the romantic restaurants because all the decor and antiques in here are completely original. And the food is very true to Saxony. Plus, they make their own wine in-house with their very own label, and it's delicious. We're here at Dresden 1900, a restaurant right off the main square here in Dresden that's styled like it was before the war. It's very nostalgic, vintage tram cars like the one behind me. And the food here is very traditional Saxony. I'm about to dig into a Dresden lump. It's called a Batzen. And it looks hearty and delicious, as all German food is. I'm the head waiter here in the Gunpowder Tower. 1500 here, he was the Gunpowder Tower from August the Strong. And now is a big special restaurant and the best place here in Saxony. When people come in our restaurants, we have a special entertainment, the Magic Man Philip, music, we have everyone. Special food is suckling pig, dumplings, the meat, the special dessert, the cake of Saxony. This is a special one. All the places that we dined on my custom trip with Avanti Destinations seem to have a unique story. And Bean & Beluga, a Michelin-starred restaurant, was no exception. 
The quality of each bite was just a whole new level of gourmet. And the best part was, we were able to take a cooking class from the esteemed chef, Stefan Hermann. So today we're making uh, a wild herb salad with uh, some asparagus. And he put us trainees right to work. We were using the freshest, high quality ingredients. And he taught us how to be just so precise and careful with each morsel. I learned so much just watching his techniques and listening to his tips. So we can put some honey inside. He helped us to transform a simple salad with white asparagus into something extraordinary. It was a treat to get to enjoy one of the highest rated restaurants in Saxony with the company of the chef himself. Oh my god, it's exquisite. This spargo is so good. You can tell it's in season because it's so fresh and so light. We're so lucky to be here during spargo season, asparagus season.